Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and this tutorial we will learn how to get started in YPath Studio Web. So, Studio Web it's a browser-based automation development tool that allows us to automate processes across online applications and tools like G Suite, Office 365 and much more. And so with Studio Web we can start automate process from any browser and any operating system. So to access to Studio Web, first we need to log in into our YPath Automation Cloud. So first just navigate to cloud.ypath.com and then do the login and will appear this page. And then on the left side we can see here some of the YPath products. So to access to the web, let's click where it says Studio. And so here we can start by creating a new Studio web project. So to create a new project, let's click here on this button. And now let's define the project name. For example, my first project. And here we can so enter a description. So let's create our new project. And so it's here where we will develop our Studio Web automations. So about develop automations, it's like the Studio Desktop version. So we use activities to build our automations. So we can access to the activities by clicking here on this button. And so here we can search for activities by their name or for a specific keyword, or we can search them by their category. So here we can see that we have activities for Google Cloud, Google Workspace, Microsoft Office 365, Document Understanding, and much more. So we use activities to develop our automation. So we'll create a simple automation that first will get emails from our Outlook account and we'll save the email attachments and then we'll take on these email attachments and save them on the Google Drive folder. So first we need to get our Outlook emails and to get our Outlook emails, let's here open the category Microsoft Office 365 and here we can see activities that works with Outlook and OneDrive. So the activity that we'll use to get emails from our Outlook account is this one for each email. So if you don't find it, you just need to search here for, for each email and it will appear. So let's select it. And now let's wait for the dependencies to be installed. And so now let's open here the activity configuration. And as you can see, first we need to establish the connection between YPath Studio Web and our Outlook account. So let's click here on connect now. And now we just have to pick an account, a Microsoft account. So I'll select one and the connection it's now established. So here we can see that we have to indicate the email folder from which we want to get the emails to then save the attachments. So if we click here, we can see the folders that exists on our Outlook account. So here I'll select the white path folder that has two email samples that has attachments. So let's select here the folder and then click on save. And now inside of this cycle, we will execute the action. So in our case, save the email attachment and then save this email attachment also on the Google Drive folder. So here, let's add a new activity and let's search here for attachments. And here we can see the activity download email attachments for Microsoft Office 365. 
So let's use it. And so first we need to provide the email that uh, we want to check, a uh, save email attachment. So we want uh, to save the email attachment from the email iterated on this cycle. So to indicate this email, if we click here and click on use variable, we can see that uh, we have already created here a variable uh, here of this 365 message. And here we can indicate so uh, the email iterated. So this is a variable created by the for each email loop. So now that we have indicated here the email iterated to save so the email attachments. So in my case, we can see here that I have two emails and both of them have attachments. So then here, if we click on show advanced options, we can see that will be created a variable that will represent the downloaded email attachments. So the next step is to save them on our Google Drive folder. So let's add here a new activity or let's click here also. It works in the same way. So now let's search here for Drive. And so uh, let's use uh, here the activity Upload Files. And now let's just wait the dependencies to be installed. And so one thing that we can do it's uh, so move the activities so we can drag them as we can see like we do on Studio Desktop version. So we can now move this activity inside of the for each email loop so it will be executed for each uh, email iterated. So now Let's open here the activity configurations and as we can see, we need to establish a connection between our Google account and Studio Web. So let's click here on connect now. And now let's select our Google account. And now we have to give here some rights to iPad so it can execute the automations as expected with the needed rights. So now here we need to provide a single file or uh, we can provide uh, multiple files as we can see. So here we can get more than one file. So for example, if our email has two attachments, uh, we will get on this variable two attachments. So here let's select option uh, multiple files. And then here let's use a variable and so here we can see the variable created by the above activity. So now we just have to indicate here the downloaded attachments list. And now that we have indicated the files to upload, we need to indicate the folder. So a destination folder where we want to upload the files. So let's click here on this button and it will load the files that we have on our Google Drive. So now let's click here on my drive by doing double click. And now I created here a folder uh, to save so uh, these attachments. So I'll save on this folder. So I select it and now I will click on save. So now we can test our automation to see how it's working. So to run automation on Studio App here, on the top, we can see uh, this bar and here we have the option run that executes our automation. So let's click on run. And now here we can see the execution logs. So uh, let's just wait a bit. So the automation already ended. And now if we check our Google Drive account, we can see on the folder that was uploaded the email attachments for each email that was iterated on our process. So now, so now if we want to edit our automation after execute it, at least until the moment that I'm recording this tutorial, we need to click here on switch to edit mode. So we are allowed to edit again our automation. So now we can add new activities. 
Now let's say that you want to export the project that we have created on Studio App to the Studio Desktop version. So how we can do it? It's very simple. So let's uh, go to projects or Studio App projects. And now here on the project that we have created, let's click here on this option. And here we can see some options and one of them open in desktop allows us to open our studio app project on our studio desktop version so let's click here and now we have to click on open ypad studio and as we can see we started our studio desktop version and now will be open the project that we have created on studio web and as we can see, we have exported successfully the Studio Web project to the Studio uh, Desktop version. So uh, let's try to execute the project from Studio Desktop version. So let's run our project. And now the automation already ended. So let's check here our Google Drive. And as you can see, we have uploaded uh, new files into our Google Drive folder. So now that we have learned how to create a simple automation that interacts with our Microsoft account and Google Drive, and now how to export this automation to Studio Desktop version, let's learn how we can publish a Studio Web automation to our Wipad orchestrator. So here, let's open again our project. And here uh, we can see the option publish. So by clicking here, we can publish our automation to our white path orchestrator. So here we can add a description. And so uh, this automation will be added to our personal orchestra speed. So let's click here on publish. So was published. So now uh, let's open here our white path orchestrator. So let's click here where it says orchestrator. And now here on my workspace, if we click on automations, we can see our project that we have published from Studio Web. So that's it. I will in the future launch more tutorials about Studio Web. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. So it really helps the channel and also the video, the tutorial to reach more people. And also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notification bell. So you can get notified easily about each tutorial that I launch here on the channel.